good day and happy new year buddies. Hope you started a great one. In this video let me show you how I built this magnificent diorama for my pet ant colony. Thanks for supporting the channel the past year, and here we are now with the first episode of these year, anyway, welcome back buddies. And for those new to the channel, you're all so welcome, to, D Colony. In this project, we're again using another piece of this enclosure that we reviewed here on the channel in the past. I love using them on my ant farms, to find out why, you can check our review video here on the iCard. Anyway, we need to drill a hole here for the nest entrance. We're gonna cut some Sintra board to use as guide. We'll just tap each end using a single drop of super glue, this way it will become sturdy enough to hold the mixture. And easier to detach later on. And they're here, we can now put it on place. I will try to use three colors and see if we can achieve a fading effect on the plaster. One apricot, one orange, and one pale yellowish, or a light orange layer. We're going to use this red and yellow food colorings to achieve the desired shade of our plaster layers. First things first, let's mix the plaster with water. Don't mix three sets of plaster at the same time like I did here buddies, especially if you don't have an idea on how long this material take to dry out. You'll be overwhelmed for sure as this material dries so quick. Anyway, make the mixture a little watery. So that we can have more time on adjusting the color the way we want it to look like. Let's add the food colors and mix it well. Setting the first layer. The darkest shade at the bottom, sorry buddies if I didn't manage to film the second and third layer. Cause like what I've said, the plaster started to dry out. And I needed to act quick, and pour them inside as fast as possible. Anyway, just after the third layer. I topped it with this powder, and broken pieces of plaster. Which we got from the plaster rocks that I mold, and carved earlier which we will also use on this video. I'm gonna show them to you later as we progress. After letting it set for about 20 to 30 minutes, we can now remove the frames and start carving. Let's make random strokes to start the process. This way we'll create more natural looking crevices. Just continue and repeat the process on each of them to make it uniform. It will take a lot of time buddies, but be patient cause it's worth the effort. I carved mine for about 6 hours, just on this back part.
We also need to make some cuts in between, and make some of the random crevices wider, and deeper than the others, for more natural look. Time to clean a little bit. Can you notice the fading, or the darker base? Maybe we should go a little darker buddies, but never mind. Before we fill the flooring, let's make some rock-like formations using our plaster leftovers, filled on this cups. Anyway, let me just break it with a hammer. After breaking it into pieces, I'm again applying the same carving process like what we did in the background earlier. The small pieces collected in the cups at the back came here. And it's the one we used to top the mountain of plaster, a while back. Cause we need to make this rock-like figures, in advance. And here they are, some got darker color too. After figuring out where I want to place them, I used hot glue to hold them on position, while we set the flooring. While filling it up, the darker shade rocks on the right turns even more darker after absorbing moisture from the flooring, it's not planned, and I don't like it to be honest. But, it is what it is. We also messed up the glass, but no worries. Since that's easy to clear when it dries up. Time to give our diorama a little bit of details, using this miniature. Bushes, and trees. I'm using hot glue on attaching the bushes, so that we can remove them easier. In case needed. Let's add more bush later, after the trees. Anyway, I didn't use hot glue, or anything on the trees. Since they're already pretty sturdy, just on the whole I made using screwdriver, good thing. So we can move them out easier, when we do a cleaning maintenance. We'll also adding some bushes, on the nest entrance. I printed an image of the Grand Canyon to use as a background. Since this was the place that inspired me, to make this outworld. Also one of my dream place to visit. And my pet ants will experience the Grand Canyon first before me, I guessed. And they will live here as well. As Jay says, living the dream. What do you think of our new DIY Ant World buddies? Comment down below, and speaking of comments. For the dares, please comment them on the dare videos itself. So that they can get to the wheel of dares easier. We'll be popping out the entrance hole, once we connect the nest buddies. And that will be on part 2, so stay tuned. For now, I just hope you have learned something from this video guys. Be a genie for the first time, by granting my wish and tapping the like and share button, that would help a lot. This is D Colony, saying goodbye. For now, but hoping to see you on my next videos.